Hi everyone and welcome back to my Japan planning series. Today I've got a checklist of 10 things you need to book and sort out for your trip to Japan. I've just done all of this for my trip and there will be lots of new Japan videos coming up really soon. I'm also going to try and do a live stream from Japan. I'm not sure exactly when it will be but if you follow me on Twitter on Cakes With Faces I'll tell you when it is. So here we go, first thing, book your flight. That's the first thing to do, get those dates locked in. I've already talked about this a lot in my other Japan planning videos, so I'm gonna zoom through these first two. Number two, book your hotel. Once you've decided which cities or areas you wanna visit, book your hotels, and then that's the two main big things sorted. Number three, travel insurance. Very boring, but my first part-time job when I was at school was selling travel insurance. So you wanna check the cancellation amount is enough to cover your trip and also check the baggage cover. The basic level doesn't always include it. And you wanna make sure all your figures, your Japanese Kit Kats, and all the stuff you buy is gonna be covered on the way back. Can you imagine if your bags got lost? Number four, Studio Ghibli. On to something more fun. If you wanna to go to the Studio Ghibli Museum, book it as soon as you can. It does sell out every day. It's a really cute, quirky place. I thought it'd be like Disneyland, but it's not like that at all. It's more like someone's quirky old house with lots of sketches and drawings to look at. If you like the Ghibli films, you'll enjoy it. You're not allowed to film inside, but you can see a bit more about it in my video. Number five, get some yen. Have a look on xe.com to see how the exchange rate's doing. It just so happens that I got the best and worst rates of the last two years on my trips to Japan. There's a calculator on Martin's Money Saving Tips where you can compare rates from different providers. I usually pick someone I've heard of so I know they're gonna be reliable. And sometimes you get a better rate if you get it delivered to your house rather than going to the high street. Remember that credit cards aren't accepted everywhere. I've found a lot of places do take them, but smaller places might not, so it is worth taking cash with you. UK cards work in cash machines in 7-Eleven and Citibank. I try not to rely on that. It's easier just to take cash with you, just in case it doesn't work. But make sure your debit card won't charge you for taking cash out abroad, just in case. Also, make sure your credit card is commission-free abroad so it's not going to charge you. Then you can use your card just like you normally would. Number six, order your JR Pass. If you need a JR Pass for travelling around Japan, it's only for foreigners so you need to order it before you go. They send you a voucher that you can swap when you're there for the pass. This is my one from last time. For your Suka card for the local trains, you can get it when you're there or you can order it beforehand if you want to. Number seven, pocket Wi-Fi. I've been to Japan with and without a pocket Wi-Fi, so it's not essential, but it does make things a lot easier. You can look up Google Maps, you can check opening times, you can use Google Translate. So now I've had one, I probably would always get one now. It's about the size of an iPhone. You turn it on and you have the internet. You can connect more than one phone or laptop to it. So it's just like your Wi-Fi at home, but you can use it when you're out and about. I got mine from japanrailpass.co.uk because I've used them before and I know they're reliable. And there are cheaper places like iVideo.com. You can pick it up at the airport or have it delivered to your hotel and they give you an envelope so at the end of your trip you can post it back to them. Number eight, visa. For this one, you don't need to do anything. They give you a slip on the plane for a normal tourist visa for up to 90 days so you don't need to do anything in advance. Number nine, airport parking or your train or taxi to the airport or your airport hotel if you need one. Again, pretty boring but it does need sorting and sometimes you can save a bit of money by booking in advance. Number 10, plan what to do. Now this is the best bit. I love your planning and probably spend way too much time on it. I don't tend to find guidebooks that helpful. They don't really include a lot of the things I want to do. And that's partly why I started making videos about Japan. So I get my ideas from watching videos, reading blogs, reading trip reports and from Twitter. I keep an ongoing list of places I wanna go on Pinterest. If you wanna have a look at it, I'm Cakes With Faces and the board's called Japlanning. It's really messy because it's more for my own reference really, but it is public if you wanna have a look. I don't tend to plan a day by day itinerary, but I have a list of all the things I wanna do and how to get there and anything like unusual opening times or anything important. It's also good to have some ideas for a rainy day because that can happen any time of year in Japan. I've been really lucky so far, but it's always a possibility. As I always say, places can be difficult to find, so it's good to pin them on a map on your phone. Before, I've used Ulmon City Maps to go, and this time I'm trying out maps.me. Both of them are free and they both work offline, which is great, just in case you don't have any signal 
or if you don't have a pocket Wi-Fi. Work out how to get from the airport to your hotel and I always make a little list of things to do when I get there, like pick up my JR pass, pick up the pocket Wi-Fi, because I don't trust myself to remember everything after a long haul flight. And that's it. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to see my pictures from Japan and keep an eye out for my live stream. Everything's being taken care of at Cakes With Faces and your orders are being sent out every day as usual. So if there's something you want, you don't have to wait till I get back. So I'll see you soon. Bye bye.